now i will discuss about the invocable or single action controller if the action of a controller is normally very big when you will do any action there if the action is very big then you can just dedicate the complete action into one particular controller so there is no need to define many methods there just one action into a particular controller right so in this type of case you will just want to use the invocable controller so this is very easy just in order to create that type of controller i am going to check here i will create here so just go to the terminal and here i will call that so php artisan then make controller then i will give the controller name for example block controller so block controller and here you will have to give double hyphen then just tell here the name invocable then just press enter you will see that a block controller is coming here just open that you see that there is only one method that is double underscore invoke so what i will do i will just made any action make any action here i am in order to test i am just going to write something i am into invocable controller now just check if it is working i am going to the route and here instead of this i am just going to call a controller here not function so for example here i am going to give blog controller and then class just this one is okay and here i will just call use app http controllers block sorry block controller like this so now if i want to run this program you see that i am into invocable controller now if you look at here you will see that there is no method here no method i defined here because there is already an double underscore invoke this method so just you will have to call the controller and automatically this function will be called and what complex function you will need to write you just write here i hope you have understood what is actually the invocable controller